Leise laute Menschen und herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Interview hier in unserem Leise laut Musikblog. Ich sitze beim Summer's Tale Festival mit einer sehr netten Band aus Winnipeg in Kanada, nämlich The Lytics. Hi guys, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Mark? Great, thank you. To start this interview, I just wanted to tell you a little story. I'm actually not that much of a hip hop person, but I saw you live at Pop Salon in April and I was so impressed with your energy and your just the, that how much fun you had on stage that I've been meaning to interview ever since. So thank you for being here. Perfect. <laughs> Starting off with your energy, and I was just wondering, what's the m most fun about making music for you guys? I can't speak for everyone, but for me, definitely performing. Performing is the most, the, the best part of it. And then I think secondly, second would have to be just like actually making like writing writing the music because when you're writing it you know it's it's gratifying and then you get to like performing is like showing what you've done so it's and then seeing people react to it that's pretty cool but what about you guys i mean i agree with you there um yeah uh but i also feel like the i get a kick out of like making a connection with people and it's really dope like even in uh, with like an english barrier or whatever just seeing people just get carried away to your music i think that's really dope you just performed like an hour ago uh here at the festival what was the best moment during that show for you guys when those little kids the little kids got into it i think that was pretty cool that was that was a highlight uh yeah that we're performing hold on off our new ep and uh one of the kids I remember he was like trying to like keep the time and he, he couldn't so Aww. he was like oh so he tried this hand and then like he was like using two hands so it was like oh it's it's cute <laughs> sounds really cute when you guys write your music what's important to you just just the you want the message to make sense like you don't want it to be everywhere that sounds good <laughs> that's pretty much it hopefully it sounds good and hopefully it translates to somebody else Well, what I've noticed it, is that uh, during the two shows that I've seen you at, you've um, impressed a lot of people who are not your typical hip-hop listeners. Yeah. Why do you think is that? Uh, uh, as far as people who don't really listen to hip-hop getting behind what's going on, I mean, growing up, it, it wasn't like hip-hop was everywhere, so you listen to a lot of different music. And you got a lot of different, uh, if it's not influences, you you just got a lot of un understanding of a lot of different music. You know, whether it be like some indie or some, you know, like some rock, some, some soul stuff, some like alternative, whatever it is. Whether you like it or not, you're listening to it a lot because it's just there. Like you have a mishmash of, of ideas that kind of creep in. And if that's what it is, then, you know, I guess it makes it a lot more accessible to a listener that might not be a part of hip-hop mm -hmm. but just like them we didn't only listen to to hip-hop we listened to a lot of different types of music and there's a good chance that they probably listen to the same amount of those other types of music mm -hmm. as us so it makes it really easy for them to maybe get behind that's yeah. what i'm thinking I, i've also always felt that like a lot of people or a lot of times when people say they don't like a certain kind of music it's because they either a don't understand it or haven't tried it Right. So it's I mean, and it's like that with just about everything in life. So it, it's almost silly to say you don't like or, you you know, something that you've never really given a chance to, to hear. Right. And it's music's music. Right. And art's art. And if you if you listen to it and you give it a real shot, you're definitely going to find something in it that you can at least appreciate. Right. And from there, you know, go with it where, wherever. But a lot of the times when I feel like there's something I don't like. It's often that I just don't understand it or I've never given it a try, you know, so. I don't like musicals. I've seen a few of them. <laughs> I don't like anything about musicals at all. <laughs> Nothing at all. Can, I'm sure you can find something you appreciate about it. Like, Annie, Annie is nice. Like, I, I thought I didn't like musicals, but then, you know, if you watch a good musical, you hear some good songs. It's, it's like, and you can't deny the songs are good, so it's like. Do I want to be at a musical? Not necessarily, but I mean, I can find parts that I appreciate. Right. Right. I've been to several musicals. I don't like any of them. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Wait, let's get away from, from the musicals. 
um, I was just also wanted to ask you, like, where do you draw the inspiration to your music? Not for musicals, because <laughs> those are terrible. Where we where we draw inspir? I think just from what we listen to, really, like what what's happening in our lives, what we list, what, what other kinds of music uh, we listen to, um, the energy we're in, the vibe, the place in life we're in. Um, just like kind of being in your, your own moment kind of that's, yeah, I don't know. Well, it sounds, it sounds good to me. That's yeah, interesting. That's definitely. Good. Um, you have played a lot of festivals this year in Germany. Um, what do you like about festivals in Germany? What, what, what have you noticed? I think there's a, an appreciation for music. That's really nice. You know what I mean? In other places, people don't necessarily gravitate towards the music. They won't come up and show up just because they hear something. Um, they have to be sold on it first. You know, there's a lot of hype that goes into a lot of stuff, particularly in North America. So it's really nice to see when you, you come all this way and people just want to know, they just want to hear it, you know, and they make the decision f for themselves as to whether they like it or not. And then that's, that's what they go with and that's it, right? They'll come and buy a CD off of someone they've never heard of if they like the music. You know, in Canada, it's like sometimes it's almost as though it's just not the same. Well, talking to you right now, you just said that uh, you'd seen us play at a couple of festivals. Yeah. yeah. And you are interviewing us now because you like what 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 you saw. I think that's what we like about it. The fact that I don't know. I don't know if it's that they get it more than other places we've played, but they just they're into it like they just you know things trans they seem to just translate a lot more and it's funny because you think with any type of language barrier that things would be harder to translate and somehow they're not so if i could say anything about the festivals that we played here it's just it's just nice that the ideas that you woke up with in your head when you made the song seem to get transmitted to the people listening and they have those same ideas in their head after listening to what you're doing and that's if someone understands you better or not even you but understands the song after you've played it for them that's kind of the, the best thing you could ask for yep. and i feel like in europe especially in germany the time we spent here that 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 happens a lot all right, all right great now that You, those are like the last couple of festivals you're playing right now. Uh, what are your plans after that? Well, like, what are you going to do? We're going to go back home and work on an album for the next month or two, mm -hmm. or maybe more. Hopefully not. Hopefully come January, February, we'll put that album out and then we'll tour that album and then just play, play bigger, not bigger, better, but play more shows in uh, Europe. Yeah, I'd be really looking forward to to seeing you again and your own maybe headlining show. You never know; <laughs> that'd be cool. Yeah, cool. yeah. my blog is called Lies Aloud, which means quiet and noisy. Cool. And the last question I always ask during my interviews is, "What's your most favorite quiet moment on a touring day, and what's your least favorite loud moment?" Favorite quiet moment, probably. I don't know. I just, I like going to bed. <laughs> you know after a long day is pretty uh yeah i can't i think that's pretty good going to bed is probably my favorite quiet moment i guess after a long day i don't really have a least favorite loud moment i don't know yeah oh. uh favorite quiet moment is usually when you're by yourself And because we travel in a tour van a lot together, so I really appreciate when I don't have to hear anything else, just like be by myself. But a lot of times in the hotel rooms, I like to open up the window and just listen to what's going on outside mm -hmm. and see how much it sounds like home. Ah. It's, I don't know, it's a weird thing that I do, but I like it because, um, I don't know, I'd like to think that it helps me to understand places better. I don't think it does at all realistically but <laughs> it's kind of cool just to compare all the signs in your in your head uh so that's my favorite like quieter moments my favorite loud moment is yeah when you ask people to scream and and they do it you know what i mean and then you ask them to go louder and they go louder and it's just during shows like i mean yeah can't speak for the rest of the guys 
my least favorite loud moment would be any noise that like I don't sleep a lot so when I do sleep any noise that can wake me out of sleeping is my least favorite yeah, okay. loud noise all right how about you guys uh my favorite quiet moment would have to be I like every every new city that I'm in I like to take a walk by myself and just like explore okay. drink in the city take pictures that type of stuff so yeah not well, without alcohol soak in, soak in. Oh, okay. same thing no, I understand what you mean, you mean. Like, drink in the city or you meant to go drink in, in the, the city. city yeah <laughs> no that's that's not a quiet moment but yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny that you said that because my favorite quiet moment is to take a solo walk go find like a small bar or cafe either find a beer cocktail to myself or 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 a coffee or something by myself just headphones chill least favorite loud moment is when i'm tired and i'm at a party that i don't want to be at and i want to go to bed but everyone else wants to stay out (laughs) yeah well thank you very much for this this great uh view into your touring days and just into your music I, i really appreciate you your time and i really hope that i will see you again at one of your shows oh, next yeah. you. next year thank right you. thank you thank you for having us und wir sehen uns ganz bald beim nächsten mal bye ciao nice. <laughs> yay thank nice. you so much thank you.